Hey, what is up? This is Adam with cloudautomation.blog. In this video, we're going to go over how to grab a cookie from a PowerShell session, save that cookie, and then use it later. And what I mean by use it later is use it within an orchestration engine. And that orchestration engine could be vRealize Orchestrator, System Center Orchestrator, or something what we're looking at right now, HP Operations Orchestration. So just to quickly walk you through this flow, the very first step with that green box around it is to check to see if a token exists. We may have logged out within the last half hour and that token is still out there. If it is out there, then we've succeeded and we're done. But if it is not out there or the token is expired, we need to actually log back into Azure. And we're going to use a service principal account or a service account. It's essentially an application within Azure. It's a way into the Azure environment to get that cookie. Once we have logged in, we're just going to rerun the same PowerShell script here. We're going to get that cache token. Now, I did have one odd failure, so if it does fail getting that token, we just, we're going to repeat that one more time. So let's take a look at those PowerShell scripts. So here's that first PowerShell script, and I did not write this. I got this. I found this on the Internet. The source is in my blog. This is a great script, and it works very well. You can also find the code on my blog as well for this script. And then the second script is where we're actually logging into Azure and getting that cookie. So here we're actually using a variable as Azure user, another variable for Azure password. We're converting it to a secure string. We're creating a credential. And then this is the command to actually log into Azure using that service principle. Jumping back to the orchestration engine, let's see how this looks and how this works. If I drill into this first action, all I'm filling out is the PowerShell host, which I'm using the local host. It's a Windows box that I'm actually hosting HP Operations Orchestration on, and then the script itself, and it's that script that I just showed you. The only thing I changed is in the original script, it was write host. Obviously, I don't want to write the host. I want to return that. I want to keep that, that token. So the results are my token from the return result. That's if it succeeded, then it'll head this way. If it fails, it's going to actually log into Azure. It's going to go down to this PowerShell script. You can see here the host is also the local host the script, but the difference is I'm passing that Azure username and that Azure password. Now within operations orchestration, the way we do that is we create a system account down here. I named it Azure Service Principal, the username and the password. Now the username is your application. Once we've actually logged into Azure, we can then get that cache token. And again, this is that exact same script. So let's give this a try. So it looks like it succeeded. So let's dig in a little bit and see what happened. So that first step, the check slash get token, it looks like it failed. So you can see there's a system exception as well as you can see the red X. If I scroll over to the right, let's see. Yeah, I'm sure you've logged in before calling this function. So it knows that I have not logged in and there's not an active cookie. So we went to the next step, which is log into Azure. Looks like it logged in properly. You can see our account information there. And then the last step is get cache token. And you can see here the return result is our token. Perfect. So let's put this thing to use. What we're looking at right now is a workflow to deploy an Azure VM. And you can see right here, get auth token. That's that same workflow. If I right click on this, I do an open subflow. You can see that's that same workflow that we just went through. And what this workflow is going to do is actually create an Azure VM based on some basic inputs as soon as I click debug. Let's do PS for PowerShell, demo-1. That's the VM name or the server name. I'm going to click continue. It's currently provisioning the VM and it's checking the VM status. Let's jump over to the Azure console and see what's going on. So there you can see PS demo dash one and then the 5400 alpha seven alpha is a random GUID and we can see the status is creating. Let's jump back to HPOO and see what's going on. Essentially what this is doing is it's verifying that the VM within Azure is created successfully for this workflow says it was completed successfully and the workflow was successful. Jumping back to the Azure console, let's do a refresh. So as we can see, this VM is running, which is a really long way to show you that that authentication key worked. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Tweet at me at automation underscore Adam. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped. Have a great day.